Here's my solar panel set up. I was able to score these three from work. They're each 270 watt REC panels. And uh, I got the little 10 watt one on the top to charge the battery. But basically uh, what I did was I ran 240 in because these uh, microinverters are 240, the IQ7s. And I ran the 240 in here from the house and uh, I just went into a DIN setup, a DIN rail junction block basically and uh, here's the 240 coming in from the solar panels and that meets up with these the uh, red and uh, black on the top and the white and black on the bottom and the ground just goes to the back of the box there's no ground on these uh, end phase pieces this is the battery I'm using will you guys get out of here this is the battery I'm using it's just a uh, it was an old UPS battery. It, it, it uh, came in for free, so I, I'm using that. Um, other than that, these uh, wires here, this is to control the actuators from the uh, solar tracker. That's it, actually moving a little bit right now. But uh, this one does uh, north-south axis. This one does east-west axis. And uh, this is kind of how I have it set up with a 4x4 four four braced in between here. In between uh, the 4x6 with the pins and I just put a thrust bearing up I don't think you can see it in between there but there's a thrust bearing so that helps it spin a little bit um, what I did to get it to spin the full rotation because I was I was having issues in the beginning with it hitting um, along the frame here so what I did was I had to raise it up a bit with some 2x4s and then put the mount the unistrut on top of that. And it worked out well. Um, I have the, uh, the, the light sensor up on top and it's just pretty much even with the uh, solar panels. And basically the mount setup I have for the east-west actuator, that's just like a Chevy. Silverado um, shock mount. Then I have my main trunk cable coming in from the uh, the panels, and those are just all um, MC4 connectors to the uh, adapter. Well, the adapter is already there; it usually comes with it. And um, then from there, you just kind of loop them all together. I I just went and bought. Um, pre-made ones off eBay they, they usually take them down from solar fields that have uh, been decommissioned or have gotten upgrades or something so I was able to get them pre-made I didn't have to make them um, this thing does pretty well in the wind it's a little windy right now but uh, if it gets over 50 miles an hour it's, it's pretty wide open here so I'll have to I usually put it in a park position completely horizontally and uh, then I will Brace it with a 4x4 post just so it doesn't move around too much. But uh, it's got manual controls too if you want to move it yourself. It's a little windy as you can see. The only th issue I had with this thing, the Windy Nation actuator, and it's the heavy duty one, it's 12 or 24 volts. Um, but basically, the bottom here, if you have it mounted in the position I do, it likes to build up water. I, I'm pretty sure it just uh, it trickles down in the arm here. But that's uh it's pretty simple setup what i did with the uh the four by six post going into the ground um i went down about four feet so there's about five feet of concrete there and that's a uh a 12 inch sauna tube i wanted to go 16 but they didn't have any so 12 did it fine um there was no issues there um i had this thing set up manually at first so that's why i had the the pin slot there with the, the holes drilled but uh, then I went to dual axis. And I just have that motor covered up because it's not really an outdoor one, but it's 
It's been out here for a year and a half now, so I can't complain. Um, I just used uh, to mount them to the Unistrut. All I did was uh, use the spring unistrut, unistrut nut things, um, and then I grabbed some short bolts with a washer, and uh, I just mounted the unistrut basically at the one of the factory mount mount holes, um, so I didn't have to drill new ones. But you can see the screw piece in there, the spring piece, and. The light sensor is pretty simple. Um, this is the Windy Nation one, uh, the Suntura, I want to say. And it's got eight little diodes in there, and you can manually adjust them, but they're pretty, they're set pretty well from the factory. I had to fine tune mine just a little to get it to to turn when I wanted, basically, because it would be a little delayed. But um, for the concrete in the ground, I went. Um, in the basically the bottom two and a half feet of it, I, I drove rebar from the inside out into the ground on an angle, and uh, that helps stiffen it up with the rest of the ground too. Um, the battery I've had good luck with, uh, even on when it's like zero degrees Fahrenheit out, um, it stays at about 12.75 volts, so it never really drops too low, and then it gets charged during the day anyway, so I never have an issue there. Um, but that's the frame setup. It's all two by four, and like I said, I stained the crap out of it with some deck stain. Um, I got the box from work. A lot of the wiring and stuff, the conduit I got from work, the, this liquid type, and uh, I just went into the ground here, and um, I trenched it over to here, where it comes in, and it goes into the house, into the uh, main panel, into a 20 amp breaker. But uh, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to post them in the comment section.